Hello, today we're going to cover the mediums that I use to draw with and see how they work on, this, on different kinds of paper, how each of the mediums work. Here's pastel pencil, which you can see is a nice smooth. Then we go to charcoal pencil, gets a little broader and, and bolder. Then I use square chalk which is down here and that's how this looks and you see we're seeing much more of the grain of the paper with square chalk and the last one that I used is soft Conti crayon now I used all of these on a basic kind of flat paper but now we're going to take one medium we're going to take square hard pastel and we're going to look at it on a, a different all different papers so we'll take that square hard pastel and we'll start to look at it first on basic paper. That's the way it looks. And it is, this whole thing is about pressure sensitivity. So if I go lighter, it gets um, it lighter. And if I press more, it gets darker. So after basic paper, I'd like you to see the same square hard pastel on artist rough paper. I lightened up down here and you see the difference. Then we're going to go to sandy pastel paper and totally different. I'm going to press harder and that's light, that's hard pressure and the difference. The next one that I really want you to see is charcoal paper and it has a totally different texture. Now remember this is a digital surface and yet it looks exactly like kinds of surface that we use in traditional drawing. The last one is one that I find that's fun. I, it's fine dots and I love putting this into drawings. Now one of the things that happens is before we go any further there are all these blenders and I blend just like I do. So here I can take this pointed stump and blend and you see it's picking up and you can see the grain of that fine dot paper so I'm going to change it to make it pastel painted paper and I'm going to use what's called grainy water and look at what it's doing it gets that sandy look and blends that way now I'm going to take another blender which is a round blender brush and I love using this because in traditional work I really use a brush to blend my soft mediums a lot and I like that very much. And the last blender that I'm going to show today is one called Water Rake and I think it's really good. It rakes through and gives me some interesting textures. So that's blending. One of these days I'm going to make one called Index Finger where we can just blend like I do with my index finger and in traditional mediums. But that's pretty good right there. So now you've seen how mediums blend. Now let's take one, well, we'll not use basic paper, we'll use artist rough paper and we'll look at all the different mediums on artist rough. There's artist rough with square pastel. There's artist rough with soft pastel, soft vine charcoal, square chalk, real fat chalk. I love real fat chalk and Conti crayon, real soft Conti crayon. Now let's go to a different paper, the sandy paper and look at those same mediums. There's the square hard pastel on a sandy paper and there's the round soft pastel on the sandy paper. Here we go with the soft fine charcoal and it gets pretty soft and pretty dark and the square pastel looks that way. The real fat we can do sideways or we can do up and down cover a lot of paper at once and then here we go with real Conti. So now you see the difference of surfaces, different mediums and we've covered as much as I can in this short time. Hope you've enjoyed it. Come back and see more the next time I'm going to actually use color 